everybody. It's Socks and Sports here, and I'm just going to talk about uh, a few companies that we've talked about throughout the entire duration of this YouTube channel so far since September. And since this is earnings season, we have we have had a few companies release their earnings already. Some of them have not, and I'm going to talk about four of the companies that we had gone over in the past, what we had expected them to do, what we either still expect them to do, or how they've done. So, the stocks we're going to talk about are Digital Turbine, which was one of our first that we talked about, and Cooper, um, my other buddy that, you know, unfortunately we're not make, able to make the video together today, but he picked out this stock, he noticed it, and we looked at it and saw that it was, it was decent. Their earnings came out on October 31st, if I remember right, or October 30th. Uh, somewhere around Halloween. It's it's November 1st as of right now, about to be the second. And Digital Turbine's estimate, uh, how I what I saw was um, a po a positive of, a, of 11 cents per share. That was the estimate. Now I have seen multiple sources claim that they estimated nine cents per share. Well, either way, they ended up beating it. They did 15 cents per share. And in the video on Digital Turbine, if I remember correctly, we had said that they had had a trend of beating their estimates, which was fantastic. And that if they had beat their estimate, depending on how much, that their stock would skyrocket. Now, it briefly went up, and, but unfortunately, it's been a rough week, rough couple of weeks, and it's probably going to be another rough week before the election. So all the stocks have really taken a beating. Um, but it did hit our goal at the time, and we increased, we raised the goal to about $50. Now, with this revenue beat, I think it can get there. I still think it can get there. It's just going to take a little more time, because we didn't expect this. And we expected the volatility, but we didn't expect the sell-off like that. So it's a very volatile time, and unfortunately, the, the good news with Digital Turbine was not taken as as great as we had anticipated because of this down, uh, this sell-off that occurred. But nevertheless, they still beat the revenue and they're consistently beating their revenues. So this is still a buy. Um, the consensus, not just from me, but from other sources are still a buy. Uh, and right now it's actually at a really low point. So although overpriced, the entire market is that way. And I say buy, I, I do, and I'm gonna, reinforce that estimate that we had put at 50 and we'll see where it goes from here so now the digital turbine is out of the way APPS is their acronym they're currently at $28 which is actually less than what I paid for so even though I'm currently taking a loss I'm probably going to buy a bit more because of the sell-off um, as I see it rising fairly soon Secondly, it was Republic Services. Now, their earnings announcement has not come out yet. It's going to be November 5th. So we're on 11-1. It's going to be, um, I think that's Thursday. It's going to be Thursday. Pretty sure. Fifth Thursday. Yes. So I wonder, it's going to be a market close. So it'll be after 3 p.m. on November 5th. Uh, by this time, the election will be over. So hopefully that, volatil that part of the volatility will go away. We are facing lockdowns in Europe. Um, don't know what that means here, but it does mean volatility um, with the market. The estimated earnings per share for this quarter is going to be 83 cents, which is less than it was at the same quarter last year. Last year it was at 91 cents for this quarter. Um, that's okay, we've had a rough year. And frankly, I don't think that that's that bad. Uh, they've showed growth. Uh, the third quarter estimate EPS is 83 cents. It actually goes down in the last quarter and goes down to 76 cents, but then proceeds to rise back up through 2021. So, Republic Services, we covered it. It's it's a decent um, a decent candidate. the The forecast wasn't very high. And so those who are looking for consistent long-term growth, this would be something that you 
would probably enjoy. Somebody who's looking for something that will grow quickly um, really wouldn't recommend it because it's going to be a slow growth, but it's consistent. It is consistent. Like the digital turbine, it's been consistent and it hasn't wavered in its EPS um, very much at all. The most it's wavered is since the, the lockdown when everybody took a plunge. So this is still a great stock. Um, I'm personally I'm not going to buy it, but that's a personal decision. I am looking to grow, and so I'm, I'm getting I'm more aggressive with my investments. But for those who want to be less aggressive but maintain a steady profit, this would be for you. And it's at 88.17, which is less than what we reported when it was at 91. And that's fantastic. You know, unfortunately, yeah, it's, it's sold off. And for those who did buy at 91, you're taking a little loss right now. But it's going to go back up. It's going to go back up. The economy will go back up. It'll recover and it'll go. So we'll see what happens on November 5th. Um, like I said, their estimated EPS is 83 cents. So hopefully they hit, you know, 85 to 90. And that'll shoot their stock up a bit. And that'll be great. The third will be Ameren. Now, Ameren also announces their earnings on November 5th, 2020. Uh, it's more than likely going to be after market close. Typically, that's how it is. It, it doesn't say here, and I cannot recall currently. But it's usually after the market close. So November 5th, same time as Republic Services. Uh, so far, the forecast um, for this quarter is going to be about is going to be one cent, one cent. But last year it was a negative one cent, so not much growth there. But it is a good stock. Uh, we talked about it in the past. I've been looking forward to its EPS. I'm invested in this company, and I continue to think that it's going to pay off. Um, we just need to have a strong, a strong beat on the EPS and you know with less volatility given that there is no reinitiation of lockdown um, this would be a great stock to buy great stock thirdly support.com November 13th 2020 is when they come out evidently there is no estimate but whatever it is let us let's hope that it is above where it was last quarter. If we can show growth, then that stock will go up. I am invested in this company and I think it will continue to grow. So I'm not too worried. I'm just holding my position at where I'm at with all the volatility. So that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, it was a bit informative. Um, and we'll look to look toward the future and see where, where it goes. So however this earnings season goes for you. I hope it goes well. As far as these stocks, I think it's going to go well. Um, I don't see any negativity in, in the near future aside from volatility. And good luck.